Okay, so I'm going to have a crack at this Unit 5 question. This is on the June 2013 paper. I think it's question 3. So it says we've got a cola drink of mass 0 0.200 kilograms. That is at a temperature of 3.0 degrees centigrade. And it's poured into a glass beaker. And it tells you the beaker has mass 0.25 kilograms. And is initially at temperature of 30.0 degrees C. So it says show that the final temperature of the cola drink is about 8 degrees centigrade when it reaches thermal equilibrium with it. Okay, so obviously we need to think about setting this up. So obviously your glass beaker is going to be where the heat comes from because obviously it's at a temperature of 30 degrees whereas the cola is at 3 degrees, so your energy must come from your beaker and it will be transferred to the Coca-Cola. So we need to figure out a way of expressing the amount and the energy change of your cola and the energy change of your beaker. So I'm going to use this, like subscript C's to talk about the cola and I'm going to use uh, subscript B's to talk about the beaker. So let's think about the so the energy change of the the beaker is going to be um, subscript B and it's going to be your obviously your specific heat capacity of it again for B and your change in temperature for your beaker so that's the energy change of your beaker and that's going to have to be equal to the base the energy gain of the coca cola so i'm going to use subscript c for that and the change in temperature of the coca cola so first we need to work out the energy transferred from the beaker to the co coca cola so that's going to be um B, C, B, we're just going to plug those numbers in at the end, but we need to express this delta T in terms of uh, this question. So it tells you it's initially at 30 degrees, and it's finally at this T subscript F degrees. So the amount of energy it's lost to the cola is equal to that. So now we need an expression for the energy gain of the Coca-Cola. So we, if we want to work out how much is gained, we need the final temperature subtract the initial temperature. So it's going to be your Tf minus 3.0. So obviously in the question you are given these numbers, where you're given 0 0.250 times 840 13.0 minus 2f, looks like I might be able to run a space here, is equal to 0 0.200 times 4190 times 2f minus 3.0. Oh yay, I managed to squeeze it in there so I'm not going to have to race off and create more space. So obviously we need to multiply out the brackets on each side and then you're going to need to do a rearrangement. So let's move these things up. Remember we're looking to show that it's about 8 degrees. So let's see. I'm going to gather my TF terms on the right hand side. So we've got 0.25 zero times eight hundred and forty TF plus not point two times four one nine zero TF. That's on your right hand side. So I've just basically multiplied out the brackets and moved one side over. And obviously on this side you've got point two five zero times eight forty times thirty plus 0 0.200 times 4190 
times 3.0. So those two sides are equal to each other. So then obviously we're going to factorise the right hand side and then divide across by that number. Oh, let's have a look at what we're going to get. Where are we going to get? So this right hand side here is going to become TF plus 0.2 times 4190. I've just factorized the TF out of both sides there. And so I divide across by that. And when you calculate the whole left hand side, divide by the seven brackets you should show that your TF is equal to 8.41 yada 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 degree C which is obviously approximately 8 degrees centigrade. So this next part of this question says a cola, the cola drink and the beaker are cooled from the thermal equilibrium temperature to a temperature of 3 degrees centigrade by adding ice at a temperature of 0 degrees C. Now a key thing to notice straight away is we're trying to get to a temperature of 3 degrees which is obviously above the point at which ice melts. So that's giving you an indication you need to be thinking about your changing of state which means which is why they've given you this specific rate of heat of fusion of ice to account, account for that. Okay, so we need to work out what the the energy gained by the ice is. So obviously, if we're going to include a, a phase change, its change in energy is going to be equal to your mass times your specific heat capacity as usual with your delta T. But it's also going to have this m l term in there. So in this case, we don't know the mass. Obviously, I'm going to factorise that out. So you've got your C of 4190. You've got your uh, temperature change of 3 minus 0. So it's just going to be 3. And then, obviously, you're going to have to add on your latent heat effusion. Which comes out like that. So if you go through that calculation you find your the heat the amount of energy gained by your ice is equal to m times by 346600. Zero, zero. So that's the total amount of energy and we've got our unknown, our mass in there. So we need to work out the amount of energy lost by our by the cola and the glass, because obviously both of them are involved in the process. So in terms of the cola and the glass, our change in energy is going to be uh, M beaker C beaker. It was initially at temperature 8.41 and it's going to go down to 3.0. And you're going to have to add on to that your uh, mass of cola, specific heat capacity of cola, and again it's going to be 841 minus 3.0 to calculate the energy lost by that. And if you go through all those calculations, you get 5670 joules. So the way to finish this off. that at the bottom there so I can see the numbers. Obviously we need to equate these two things so we then know that the energy lost by the cola and the glass has to be equal to the energy gained by the ice. So then if you do a rearrangement of that it's obviously 5670 divided by 346600 and that comes out at around 0.016 kilograms. Hope that was helpful to you.